So, I was playing around with some of my non-WCA puzzles last night, especially some of my own modifications, and I realized that I haven't made a mod in a while, so that's what I wanted to do today. So my plan for this modification is to make a cutter cube, but on the top layer instead of the middle. So basically what would happen is I would cut right here, and whatever's there, glue here. And then this will become an edge, and this will become a corner visually. But re in reality, it'll be turning like this, where the edges are. And there's a corner here. So when, when it looks like it's all lined up, the, the center will actually be like this. And the corners and like the other pieces will be like this. So it's going to look really cool when it's done. Let's get started. It's actually really cold out. Um, but I'm going to do this anyway, uh, to the best of my ability. So, if you don't know, if you want to take stickers off but reuse them for later in a mod, you can just use something like cards or actual sticker sheeting, which will work perfectly fine if you put the stickers on and then you want to take them off. It's perfect, so I'm just going to use an old deck of cards. staying on very well, like the tips and corners, but that's okay, um, of the stickers. So, I'm gonna get start, uh, I'm gonna start cutting by just, actually first I need to tighten this so none of it moves.
this other door. If you don't know, my house actually has three porches. It's really weird, but I built one of them like a couple years ago. It took a long time. All right. Okay, so now that I have three, I have one with both caps and then two without one. Okay. Definitely gonna have to do some sanding on the edges that I've already cut and a lot of cleaning because this thing is dirty. Alright, so this is what I have so far. So, let's see. If this goes on here, that looks really wrong. I mean, after I sand it and stuff, but still. So, I almost lost that again. So, I don't know how the sanding is going to go about. And if you hear like car noises or like birds, it's because obviously I'm outside. And those are my chickens, and they're hungry. It's not a dying bird. It's just another, it's just another bird. Last one. From the first one that I cut, and then okay, let's get all that stuff up. It's definitely gonna need some cleaning. I'm gonna do that after the sanding, cause if I sand, if I clean, then I sand, then I sand. I'm just gonna have to clean again. So I need to take this apart to sand. Gosh, those chickens are loud. I don't think anybody's fed them, so. I might have to do that. Alright. Not like rough turning. I mean, yeah, it's rough turning, it's not smooth, but.
going to put this in too. It's actually getting nicer outside, so it should be warming up soon. That worked out perfectly good. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> I am just so happy with this. This is wow. Okay. So, hold on. I may just loosen it a little bit. I actually think I just tightened it, but let's, let's show you. Okay, so I've done three pieces of this, basically. I still need to fill that and stuff and put stickers on it, but wow, that looks awesome. And if we turn it to normal, it actually kind of fits with the rest of the cube. I mean, it's at weird tensions, so it's obviously not going to be perfect. But wow, does that look awesome. I'm super happy with this so far. So what I'm going to do is going to glue the rest of the layer on, and then I'll come back. I won't really film that because... Even though I said it's getting nicer out, my hands are still cold. It's also good that it's cold because I believe that, uh, the, uh, the glue dries faster, which you can see here because I just dropped it and it did not break, which is amazing, honestly. All right, so I think most of this is dry I don't really know but Ooh, why do I have that other extra stuff here yeah I don't need that all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, I'm gonna sand this and then put it back on the puzzle I think this is dry enough I'm gonna sand this and put it back on the puzzle Put all these uh, corner edges back on the puzzle. And then we'll be done. I've just got one more edge, and so far it's looking amazing. Honestly. So I'm running out of storage on my camera, so if it stops at any point, just don't worry about it. I'll come back. Um, Alright, so it just ran out of storage, but it's okay because I was able to delete um, all my, like, I've filmed some... I film a lot of my blind attempts just in case I get like a really good one. And so basically I was able to delete all the fails, which is all of the clips anyway, so uh my camera's about to die, so I'm just going to glue this on and then come back. Alright, so now to put the final piece in and the center caps on. don't want to break it so I'm probably gonna yeah I'm gonna loosen this so 
so I can put it in. Alright. Let's go in. Come on. Please don't break. Alright. What? Alright, so I've done some basic cleaning and sand and basically just um, soaking it and drying. So I still do need to sand down these edges, uh, these corner edges a little bit, these pieces. Because if you can see, they kind of stick out um, compared to the uh, these pieces. So I still need to do that. Turning is actually really smooth. Um, because there's obviously nothing done to the core, but I thought it might be a little bit more rough because of the gluing. But, it's very nice, and obviously it's going to shape shift because, you know, it's just... It affects the rest of the puzzle, so... work time was eh, about an hour 30 maybe maybe an hour because I took a lot of breaks and I had to do stuff throughout the day too so um I don't really like the sticker qual the sticker quality on the top or the sides really because I just had to stuff them in because I couldn't find my filler at the moment the top really reminds me of a fisher of a fisher cube and I actually and I'm thinking about this, but I think if you do a clutter cube on the top, bottom, and middle layers, it'll become a Fisher cube. Which would be really cool, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So, I, I do think I will do um, the bottom layer. So, like, do a version of this 
on the yellow layer, so it's kind of like an inverse um, cutter cube, uh, original cutter cube, because then instead of holding it like this to turn it on a regular cutter cube, cutter cube, you'd hold it like this, which would be really cool because the top and bottom would look like Fisher cubes, basically. Basically, it'd be a Fisher cube with a three by three middle layer. So this is really cool. And I don't, I haven't seen anybody else do this. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but can somebody double check, double check that? Um, in the comments, tell me if someone else has made something like this. Um, but I'm going to try a solve on this. How do you? Okay, so uh, actually, I just figured out how to solve these as like edges, and then I just did uh, the R prime D prime R stuff. So that's cool. It caught a little bit on one of these um, on one of these stickers on one of these blue stickers. So I'll have to check that. But the turning is very smooth. A little tight and again catchy but I can always change that it's actually about the same tension as it should be there we go there's the green one all right so I'll have to shift this over but and the blue one okay so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you want to try this for yourself i used an mf3 for this build but i'm sure you could really use any cube i just think this is really easy to like mod with because it's very simple it's a very simple cube and it doesn't cost too much i mean i'm sure you could like use something much cheaper like Guanlong or something. Although Guanlongs are always like tight. Anyway, if you want to make this, all you need is a standard cube. Don't don't do it with a stickerless cube. It's not gonna work. And you need a, a saw of some sort. I don't have a band saw, so I'm just using my hacksaw or whatever it is. Uh, you need a, a screwdriver, probably, like, you you would really want that to, t to tighten and loosen it at different points in the mod. You also need sandpaper, most likely. And you need stickers, which you can really just use from the cube like I did. Like, almost all these stickers are from this cube. Some of them are from, um... Some old stickers that I saved from a, I think it was a Shang Shao Legend. Anyway, um, that's why it's good to save stickers because then if you run out of some for a mod, you'll always have some other. And for these middle ones, I actually found out that Kung Fu stickers are the same. At a uh, uh, Kung Fu sticker shades are the same shades except for like blue and maybe orange as moe shades 
that's why I used them as well, because I had some left from a Kung Fu 2x2 two two that I had. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, next mod is a 2x2 two two barrel. Next video, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe actually that. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.